Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel GSAPUC Mysuru. This is the third session of the fourth chapter that is passive electronic components. In the last session, we uh, saw the two different types of uh, resistors that is the carbon composition resistor and the metal film resistor. In today's sessions, we will be dealing with the other types of resistors. So, let us begin the session with SMD resistors. SMD, which is also called as surface mount device resistors smd stands for surface mount device and this is one of the type of fixed resistors that is its value cannot be changed its value is constant these smd resistors are small rectangular shaped metal oxide film resistors they are very very small in size, they are rectangular in shape and they are metal oxide resistors. And these surface mount device resistors or these SMD resistors are also called as chip resistors because they are very very small in size. For manufacturing these SMD resistors, they are going to take a ceramic substrate upon which a many layers of metal oxides will be deposited. The thickness, the length will decide the resistance values of these SMD resistors. They are called as these chip resistors because they are very very small in size and they can be easily mounted on the PCB boards that will be in the form of a chip that will be in the form of a high Z hence it is called as chip resistors and there will be metal caps on either sides of these resistors for soldering purpose on the PCB boards. So what is this PCB boards? PCB board is nothing but PCBs are nothing but a printed circuit board where we are going to place a number of ICs to perform one particular function. So, these chip resistors or these SMD resistors will be rectangular in shape. On either side of the um, SMD resistors will be having metal caps. That is, on either side of these chip resistors or the SMD resistors uh, will be having a small pins which can be easily placed or which can be easily soldered on the PCB board. If I am going to consider this as a PCB board, then the SMD resistors can be easily soldered by placing that on the PCBs. So, these SMD resistors which are also called as chip resistors will be having the metal caps on either sides on either sides and then the, these sides on either sides of the chip resistors which helps in soldering them on the PCBs. In the last two types of resistors what we have seen in the last session that is the carbon film resistors and the metal film resistor. Uh, there was the coating of uh, or there was a presence of color coding on the resistor which indicates its resistance value. But these are very very small in size. So, there will be no color codes on these types of resistors to indicate its resistance value. Instead, 3 or 4 digits will be printed on the uh, SMD resistors or the chip resistors. 3 digits or 4 digits will be printed on the surface of these SMD resistors which indicates its resistance value. So, 3 digits and the consider uh, if I am going to take the, an example of a 3 digit resistor, 3 digit SMD resistor, the first 2 digits specifies its resistance value and the third digit is a multiplier. Let us try to understand this considering one example. Uh, 390 will be printed on the SMD resistors. 390. The first two digits are nothing but its resistance value on the other. Let me write it directly as 39. And third digit is a multiplier. 
third digit is a multiplier in the sense I cannot consider this 0 itself as a multiplier. Instead what I have to do is I have to write this third digit as the power of this 10 that is 10 to the power of 0. So I will be getting 39 into 10 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So 39 into 1 is equal to 39 ohms. So if you are going to find a SMD resistors on which 390 will be printed it tells that its resistance value is equal to 3 uh, 39 ohms let me consider another example 423 uh, i am having a smd resistor on which 423 will be printed so this indicates that it is having a resistance value of 42 the first two digits it's is its resistance value and the third digit is a multiplier in the sense the third digit will be placed as the powers of the 10 so 10 to the power of 3 so this will give me 42 kilo ohms so if smd resistor uh, whose uh, number is printed as 423 that tells us uh, its resistance value is equal to 42 kilo ohms resistance of a lower value that is resistance whose value is less than 10 then that a number will be indicated on these SMD resistors with a letter R. Suppose a number like 4R7 is printed on the SMD resistor Antangoda. The value of the resistance of this resistor is equal to R denotes the decimal point. So 4R7 indicates its value is 4.7 ohms. Similarly, 3R2 indicates its value is 3.2 ohms. So for indicating the resistance value below 10 we are going to use the letter R which denotes the decimal point and for uh, indicating the resistance value above 10 then we are going to use this method where usually three digits number will be uh, present on the SMD resistors which indicates its resistance value. The first and the second digit will indicate its resistance value whereas the third digit will indicate its multiplier. There are some other uh, numbers which, is, which will be printed on the SMD resistors like triple zero or four zeros. So these are nothing but the resistors which, which is having 0 ohm resistance. So 0 ohm resistance and these SMD resistors which is having 0 ohm resistance can be used as short links. Short links in the sense I can use these uh, links or, or I can use these SMD resistors in the circuit which will be needed to be replaced in future. Suppose I want to uh, insert some resistance value in any of the branch in the future then what I am going to do is instead of removing the entire connection and then placing a resistor I am going to use this SMD resistor like a link in the branch. So uh, when I want to replace that resistor or when I want to replace the resistance value of 100 ohms or 1 kilo ohms and there, I am just going to remove this SMD resistor which is having a 0 ohm resistance and then going to place a resistor which is having 1 kilo ohm or 100 kilo ohm or so on. So these SMD resistors can be used as a short links or a shorted links uh, which will be carrying a resistance value of 0 ohms. Coming to the applications of these SMD resistors, these SMD resistors are used in the circuits where space is a main constraint, where I am not having enough space to uh, use the carbon composition resistor or the metal film resistors because their size is large compared to these SMD resistors and uh, these SMD resistors are also used in multi-layer PCB designing and they are also used in electronic calculators as well as cell phones. So these are some of the major applications of these SMD resistors. Since they are very very small in size compared to carbon composition and metal film resistors, they can be used in many of the circuits like a, a cell phone where size is the major constraint and these SMD resistors will be made up of a metal oxides on which the ceramic substrate will be taken ceramic above the ceramic substrate 
metal oxide will be deposited the thickness the length of the metal oxide deposited indicates its resistance value and I can also use these SMD resistors at the shorting links uh, using which I can uh, replace the other resistance value uh, in place of this shorting links and these SMD resistors are also called as chip resistors the values of the resistance will be printed on the SMD resistors either in the form of three digits or the four digits if I am going to consider a three digits which is most widely used then the first two digits indicates its resistance value whereas the third digit indicates its multiplier value so this is all about the SMD resistors now we'll move on to the next type of resistor that is wire mount resistors. The next type of resistor is wire mount resistor. These are again the fixed type of resistors. In this wire wound resistors, they are going to wound wires on the insulated base. So, for the base, they are going to take porcelain. Porcelain base will be taken. On the porcelain base, Eureka wires will be wounded. Eureka wires will be wounded. Eureka wires are nothing but an alloy which is made up of 60% nickel and 40% copper. So what they are going to do is they are going to take a porcelain base upon which the Eureka wire uh, will be wound and this Eureka wire itself will be acting as a resistor element. So this Eureka wire is nothing but an alloy which is made up of 60% nickel and 40% copper. So the two ends of these wires uh, will be connected to a metal cap for the external connection purpose and it will be encapsulated for the insulation purpose and the enamel paint will be coated on these uh, resistors and the specifications of the resistors will be printed on the body of these wire mount resistors. Specifications is nothing but its resistance value and its power rating. What is the power rating of these resistors and its resistance value? Because in the car uh, carbon composition resistors and in the metal film resistor uh, color bands were coated which indicates its resistance value and in the surface mount devices the numbers will be printed on the surface mount devices in order to uh, indicate its resistance value but here in the wire mount resistors the uh, numbers will be marked on the surface of these wire mount resistors uh, which indicates its resistance value as well as its uh, power rating value and the resistance value will lie within a range of 0 0.01 to 100 kilo ohms so resistance value is 0 0.01 ohm to 100 kilo ohm and its power rating will lie within a range of 5 watt to 50 watt whereas in the carbon composition and the metal film uh, uh, resistors the power rating was just 1 by 8 watts to 2 watts but here the power rating is very very high it is from 5 watts to 50 watts but these wire wound resistors cannot be used for the resistors whose resistance value must be large because these wires which is made up of Eureka wire will become bulkier with the increase in its resistance value. So it is very much difficult to construct high value resistors because it becomes uh, large in size uh, which is not suitable for small sized equipment. So these wire wound resistors contains the porcelain base upon which the Eureka wires uh, will be wounded and uh, these Eureka wires is nothing but an alloy which is made up of 60% nickel and 40% copper and these uh, resistor element will be encapsulated and uh, animal paint will be uh, coated on the surface of these uh, resistors in order to prevent the atomic uh, sorry in order to prevent the atmospheric contamination and also to prevent electric shocks and uh, uh, the metal caps will be provided on either sides of these wire wound resistors for external connection purpose and their uh, specifications will be marked on the surface of these wire wound resistors specifications are nothing but its resistance value as well as its power rating its resistance value will lie within a range of 0.01 ohm 
to 100 kilo ohm and its power rating is uh, ranging from 5 watts to 50 watts. So the construction of these resistors will be like this. The specifications will be printed on this uh, like 1 ohm or 2 ohm whatever it is and uh, it is having a power rating of 8 watts something like this and this is uh, the connection purpose the leads will be taken out here and the wires Eureka wires or the nichrome wires will be uh, mounted on the porcelain base and here we are going to take external leads for the connection purpose. So this is a simple structure of a wire owned resistor where these are the Eureka wires or the Nichrome wires and these are leads out, lead outs for external connection purpose. external connection purpose and these are nothing but the enamel coating and uh, these are the leads which is used in order to connect this resistor in any of the circuit. Since we are going to use Eureka wires, wire on resistors will become bulkier or its size will increase with the increase in the resistance value. So it cannot be used, these wire on resistors cannot be used in the circuits where the resistance value is very very high. So we will go with the carbon composition resistor and the metal uh, filler resistors. Suppose the resistance value is uh, uh, not sufficient then we are going to connect the resistors in series which increases the resistance value value of those resistor. So this is all about the wire owned resistor. So let me conclude this session at this point. So in today's session we saw the other two types of uh, the fixed resistors. One is the SMD resistor which is also called as uh, the chip resistor. SMD stands for surface mount device resistors and these are most widely used on the PCB boards where uh, there is a space constraint and applications and tabandaga SMD resistors are used in the calculators, cell phones and uh, where space is a major constraint. And coming to these wire wound resistors, these wire wound resistors will be having a base, porcelain base upon which the Eureka wire will be uh, deposited Eureka wire is nothing but an alloy which is made up of 60% nickel and 40% copper. And coming to the applications of these wire wound resistors, these wire wound resistors are used in applications like audio frequency amplifiers and they are also used in large current applications and in ammeters. Ammeters are nothing but the meters which is used to measure the current. So these wire wound resistors uh, are having a major application in the audio frequency uh, applications. Audio frequency is nothing but uh, the signals which is dealing with the frequency range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So wherever we are dealing with the signals whose frequency is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, there we are going to use these wire own resistors. So that's it for today's video. In my next session, I'll be coming with new topics under the variable resistor and the power rating of the resistors. Thank you.